Hi, this is Tapcat, and welcome back to my 100-day challenge of Battle Brothers. It's already day 120, or day, excuse me, 20, not 120. Before we leave town, I want to buy at least a little green. Everything else is pretty darn expensive. Don't really have the excess cash for tools. Otherwise, I would buy the last remaining stack. So I'm going to have to leave it as is. Is there anything else that I want to sell before I go? I don't think we need the sackcloth. So we'll just clear that space out. And, you know, if I have multiple falchions, 30 to 40, yeah, I don't think we need... I can certainly get rid of one of the short swords. So we'll do that. Um, all right. There was no quest there. The only one was for an, from a noble house. We can't take it yet. So we're going to head south. Basically, I need to get food. I need a quest that will pay me some money. Or, you know, get gear that I can sell for money. That's hard right now because so much of the gear we get is just an upgrade over what we have. So it's kind of hard to sell it. Yeah, this was hunting down beasts. And I don't want to do that. So, what's the price like here? I mean, I can buy another thing of grain. And then let's leave it at that. The medical supplies are even more expensive. So, um, oh. oh, wait, what? Um, so it's a Pimp and his, mm, his woman. <laughs> All right. Um, whatever. <laughs> Not really the side of Battle Brothers I'm, I'm looking to play. We're just going to go east. No road to get there, apparently. That's a little scary at night, especially when you don't want to fight beasts. Mostly, I just don't want to fight at night where my archers can't do anything. But hopefully, this looks like a decent sized town. Hopefully, I oh yeah, there's some quests here, baby. I don't suppose there's a hunter anywhere. There is not. Of course there is not. What about reasonably priced things? Not really, no. Okay, well, give me a quest, please. <laughs> Escort. Um, okay, so where do I have to go? About a day east in Balkenberg. Okay, before I do anything else, it's over here. All right, fine. What else have you got? Um, let's see. Let's just skip to where they lay it out in very bare terms. Deliver cargo. Okay, I'm not going that far. What's the other one? <coughs> um, actually, this sounds like it's more in my line, but wow, this money. Follow the tracks. This is for brigands because he said he had something stolen. All right. I'm probably a sucker. <coughs> yeah, I don't love this. All right, hold on. What do we got? Oh, it's all thugs. So the good news is this won't be as tough a fight as some of them have been. And the bad news is we won't get great loot. 
Okay. Well, we're going to wait. I'm pretty sure we're going to step up and take the fight to them. Uh, at least up here. I just think that makes a lot of sense. But I want to see where these guys land. Wait. Hmm. This is very difficult. See, part of me wants to start moving now because I want to make room for the backliners. All right, oh, we've started. We will smite them with furious anger. Okay, that was good for us that he moved right up like that. Too bad, I would have loved to have cashed that in. I think I'll just take two shots. Since they don't have any archers, I have no real incentive to, to step up. And there you go. And I think I will come here with him. I can't hit that guy. So that's fine. And then I kind of have the same situation here, but I'm going to come up another notch. All right. So I don't know if any of them looks like none of them will end up in actual melee range. That's a shame. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> now that it's one turn too late for me to have him do anything. Uh, that's fine. Nice. Nice shot. And somehow it went right past his armor. Not that we really need this type of armor. I think at this point, everybody has that or better. Nice. We, we damaged a lot of their morale there. No. Nice. You beast. I think I will move down a notch. Yeah, I may just wreck his shield. I'm going to wait. Let this guy come to us. Hello. <laughs> when you hit with one of those things, that's a nasty shot. It really is. That's what makes the two-handers good. Like, especially after you're past that basic pitchfork, you know. They just hit like a truck. Okay, I'm pretty good with that. Um, come on. <sighs> okay, well, that was not bad at all. Beautiful, we got a runner. Oh, we got two runners. Here, let me uh, help you. Okay, so all but this guy, wow. Beautiful. You don't need to worry about running now, friend. Okay. I'll just step up once and now I can take a shot without hitting one of my dudes. And I missed, but that's all right. Um, yep. That's just beautiful. Oh, I should have broken his shield. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, but whatever. <laughs> Even with his morale completely, well, not completely broken, but close. He's still pretty good with that thing. 
There he is. Thank you. It's annoying when you only have one guy left. Oh, there's two guys left. I didn't... <laughs> I lost track of them. I'm all right with it. Like I say, he's running anyway, so... If I don't... Yeah, I was going to say, if I don't get a killing blow, it's kind of moot anyway, because when he tries to run, he'll almost certainly die. So that loot probably will mostly be sold. So all in all, that might be a semi-profitable uh, outing for us. I think we got some levels out of that, though. So let's go ahead and just see what that looks like. So Bertolf, who was hurt for a long time, has now come back to us. Decent roll for his melee. Both, both halves. Um... Okay, so he didn't get a great roll here, and he did get a pretty darn good one for health. I feel like I need to take this, or I need to take Colossus soon. Uh, let me let me just check. Yeah, that's what I thought. I haven't taken it, and I did take Student, which is probably very optimistic for a guy, um, you know, with that health. But let's just do this. I'm going to let that Fatigue roll go. And then if I can ever get one more good roll for health, he'll be fine. As far as perks go, let's uh, let's just work on getting rotation for everybody. That is definitely a killer when you can't easily rotate somebody out. Okay, is Randolph worth keeping over the long haul? He has two stars here, which is really nice. His health isn't great. This is okay, but no stars. Um, this is probably extremely optimistic, but I must admit, I do just like getting a good steady stream of levels, and that 20% extra experience does help with that. So this is kind of another situation where his fatigue kind of sucks. Like his fatigue roll is what I'm trying to say. And his health roll is pretty darn good. So I think I'm going to do that because that may be the only point I ever have to put into his health. And now it's done. I wouldn't mind getting over 60 to be fair, but. Okay, so that didn't buy me much. I think what I'm going to do is since I want to go east now anyway, I'm just going to accept this. Um, before we go, I'd, I didn't really look, other than to see if they had any... Um, <sighs> okay, sorry, I got distracted. Other than to see whether they had hunters, I didn't really look to see if there was anybody I'd want. Now, honestly, right now, I don't want to hire anybody because we're just too low on money. I don't want to increase my daily wages. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to get caught up in this. I don't want to spend a lot of time on it if I can't do anything about it. So, boy, what's the route I want to take? Let me tr let, I'll let the game do it. At least at first. It's not entirely bad for us to go through these areas because our current ambition is to find a stronghold and, uh, you know, take it out. So if we find anything back here, so much the better. I'm low enough on food and gold that I can't just, you know, endlessly explore out here. But, you know, at least we clear a little bit of the fog of war. I tell you this, however much food costs when we get there, I'm going to have to buy some. It's not really going to be a choice anymore. All right. So we got a little bit of money in. We have a little bit of breathing room. Let's see what this one is. Follow the tracks and kill creatures. Great. 700 crowns. 
Okay. Well, well at least I can buy a, one stack of food kind of cheap. Oh, my God. Why is medical supplies so expensive literally everywhere? <laughs> that hurts me. Okay. Um, you know, let's sell. Let's see. I have two. Yeah, that's fine. Get rid of these. Get rid of the hatchet. Three. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't think we need another flail. And honestly, I only need so many shields. Oh, their their prices here suck. Their buy prices. So I guess I won't sell any more here. Um, how close is the nearest town? We're going to go here. I've got to try to find somewhere where I can actually buy some food and medical supplies and stuff. Oh, wait, 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 wait. A few brigand thugs. So there's going to be three thugs, probably, and four raiders. Well, we are here to fight raiders. That's kind of my main mission right now. You know, I am not unhappy with this um, setup. I think we'll just wait. Oh, I'm unhappy with this. I don't want Landridge down there. Yikes. Yeah, let's just let them move to us. I'm going to go ahead and just end his turn because I don't see any scenario where he gets to do anything. Same. Um, actually, all the melee guys, I'm just going to chill. I basically just want them to move forward however much they're going to. Okay. Almost all the melee guys. <sighs> oh, I don't like that positioning. I really don't like that positioning. Okay. So we're going to do this. I don't want to give that position up. All right. Really? Only 20%? And I can't hit that guy. Wow. I thought I'd have a way better chance than this. All right. Well, I wrecked probably the best armor on the map. At least took a little bite out of it, so I feel really good about that. Here, let's go up to the thug. Perfect. Perfect. We got these guys wavering already. <sighs> nice throw, man. Uh, I mean, I assume they're moving up this turn, most of them. Do I, do I need to move up? I didn't think that I did. <laughs> I definitely have more ranged attack than they do. Yeah, here they come. Yeah, that's a problem. But I'm pretty sure I can step up and shoot that guy. And of course I can use my archer. I'm going to use this one too. Alright, so we've mostly wrecked his mail. That's a bummer. Come on, you got a 71%. There you go. Let me do 
this. This guy is going to be a pain. Now he, his is two handed, but he, he can't hit from two away. If I recognize it correctly, he has to get next to us, but he can wreck my shield in a hurry. So that's not great. Boy, I wish he'd have hit. Okay. I feel like this is a necessity. Perfect. It's a good start. It's a good, good start. You know, there's six of these guys on their feet, and I'm not going to lie, I would very much prefer if we could kind of start whittling that down. Um, oh, man, I'm going to put myself in range of that idiot. Grr. All right, I have to do it. That'll stop him from throwing. Um, but I don't like... But, you know, I mean, he could hit this guy already, so... You know, it's not like you can just keep everybody safe. That is the reality. Wow, he's ready to run already. Um, Maybe I come here... That'll give us a little bit of an aim bonus against this guy. I'm grateful he missed. I would like to dagger him down. He also has good armor. So, I mean, you know, I got to try to get something out of this. Okay. He had a low percentage chance, but I was sure hoping we'd get one. All right. Come on. Beautiful. So that guy's done. We still have this idiot to worry about. But I'm going to let him come to me. Because that'll keep him from basically being able to even do anything. Okay. So this guy at least is ready to run. Now it sucks that this dude is still steady. Can't, yep, I can't do it. So what if I come here? All right. I'm gonna try and keep this guy from going anywhere. We'll see if I can do it. The bush will help. Oh, there's actually two bushes. That's interesting. But I need to put somebody here and I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Meanwhile, I have to deal with this jackass. The best way I can do that is if I knock him right on the noggin. Nice. Very nice. Come on, finish him. Oh. Yeah, there was no way. What am I doing? I don't need to uh, wreck that beautiful armor. I really don't. Okay. Basically, I'm just going to have to hope that we don't um, that we don't wreck his armor when he tries to run. And that this guy doesn't wreck me. All right, and we still have to deal with this guy down here. I'd love to get his armor too for the backline guys, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't, I see. All right, well, it'll just take a turn. Probably won't matter. Because I think we're going to kill his buddy. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure that uh, I use the appropriate weapon on the appropriate target. Okay, good. So, now I can just... Wait. Can't I? Yes. Um, oh, I have to block that spot, too. Alright, whatever. 
You know, if I kill him, I won't have to worry about it. I'm really tempted to do this. Um, no, it's fine. This guy can come down and seal him in. Except for that spot. Okay, can I... No, this is the only other spot. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, come on. Guys, if you would just kill him. Wait, is that a spot? Oh, brother, there's yet another bush. So I guess that is it. I don't think he can possibly get away. Listen, if that's the case, I am more than fine with that. Right, he can hit from two tiles. Just like my Axeman can. I'm going to have to move off. I can't risk him. He's down to one health. Wow, that's scary. <laughs> okay, dude, come on. Thank you. <sighs> so, I guess what I need to do now is try to bring some of these guys down. But I think by the time we come down, it won't matter anymore. At least I hope not. Honestly, we aren't that close to killing him. You know, most of his health is still intact. I don't want to go there. Let me come here. Oh, oh my God. I put him in range of the guy's attack. I <laughs> I keep forgetting. Well, hopefully he's going to have a plethora of targets in a second, and we're just going to break his morale. If I get a couple of hits here, yeah, I didn't hit him. That's the problem. Yeah, and he's wrecking my poor archer. Okay. Yeah, why wouldn't he go after guys who don't have shields? I feel like I did a pretty decent job with this fight, and then, like, right at the end, I started to totally lose it. So, I'm not very happy about that, to put it mildly. Um, I'm going to step back, because he'll just be next. I'm going to leave it to the melee guys from here. Um, yeesh. No, I cannot get there. Well, if I can't, I can't. I'm not going to stress about it. He's bleeding. Awesome. Alright. So we're going to start getting a bonus chance to hit. And then on top of that, he'll start, eventually, his morale will start to waver. Or so I'm told. <laughs> yeah, you chill. Okay, come on. Well, at least I got one hit in. But this guy is like crazy good with that stupid thing. Uh, I'll just use a dagger shot. Finally, he's wavering. Okay. You just chill. I'm so used to coming up, you know, to that back rank and being able to fire. And it's totally messing with my head. Now, I do realize, by the way, that some of these guys still have daggers. Like, I get it. I'm just not worried about that right now. Like, I'm okay with it. We're just going to take the attack and accept the fact that, you know, it's not as much damage as it could be, but I'm also not having to give up one of my attacks for the turn. 
So we got there. Um, I did get another 90, but not another 110. I did get a 110 helm and all that, so that's fine. Not an amazing haul, but we've had worse. I'm most happy just about getting another set of halfway decent armor. So I think on the front line, with the exception of him, never mind. I was going to say everybody already has better than that, but that's not true. Better than or equal to. So then the question is, is there anybody on the back that doesn't have at least this good? And the answer is yes. So I will give it to him. Now, uh, I don't really have a lot of choice. I got to take Wilfried out. So, what does the cut artery do again? Yeah. Okay, well, that's going to be an issue. And I... Wait, where's my... Um, oh, that's right. That was just a random group. I was like, where's my marker to uh, go collect my gold? Well, there isn't one. Okay, I'm not sure I want to do that. It's raiders and poachers. I think for the moment, I need to pass on that. I don't think we're in great shape to take that fight. Uh, we will rest outside town until dawn. I think we can use a little bit of rest anyway. So... Let's go into town. By the way, did anybody level up? I didn't check. No. No, they did not, which is a little bit of a tough pill to swallow, but at the same time, not much to be done about it. By the way, this is a 110 helm, right? Yes. So let's get rid of the crappiest one that we have on the front. And then... Um, I do have some that I'm sure would be an upgrade for the back line. So, let's see. That's fine. Whew, man. 20 health out of 60. First question, can I buy stuff like food and tools here? Well, tools, absolutely not. Food, sure, but only one stack. I guess I could buy the berries if I had to. Medical supplies. Oy, if I have to, I'm going to have to because we're going to go through this pretty quickly. Man, that sucks. Can I just say that? That sucks. How's the selling prices here? Actually, very good. All right. Then let's get rid of some crap that we don't want. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, I have a thousand gold. What kind of quests or missions can we take? The blood of evil, cruel men. Uh, local brigands. I like it. So, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to look at the other one, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to do. Follow the footprints of thievery. All right. I like this one, too. I'm really glad we came here. So, we'll get 500 crowns once we follow the tracks. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I don't think I want to start another quest right now. I've done a lot of long episodes, and I don't mind them being a little long. Um, well, gosh, I'm actually really torn here. I think what I kind of have to do is cough up the money to buy some medical supplies. Let me just encamp a little longer. I don't want to get crazy. Let me let me approach this from a different angle. Okay. 
I can't bring either of these two guys into combat. So let's say I replace them with these two. So what am I looking at? A level two guy, um, and his aim is okay. So let's say for the sake of discussion that I give him the ax. All right. So we do that. Now, I can't replace the archer because I just literally don't have another guy who can do that role. So we'll just take that and give him a spear. Preferably a boar spear. Can I do this? Can I take a boar spear from someone else and give them, you know, whatever <laughs> and do something like that? And shouldn't I have a knife? Hmm. Oh, no, because I'm replacing him. I get it. All right. And then we'll just stick him on the front line and try to get something out of him. So let's do this. Wait, there were two quests here. So one of them is just gone now. Oh man, that sucks so bad <laughs> in just those hours that I rested. All right, whatever. We're going to take the quest. We're going to take it. Bonus, bonus content. And you're not even Patreon, a um, Patreon member and you're getting it for free. Yes, I don't have a Patreon. That's the joke. <laughs> I hope I'm not by... See, I wanted to take the one skull thing first because I thought, all right, well, they probably won't have as many guys. Six raiders. Wowza. I don't know if this is smart. And now we're getting on towards night. But I only have one archer anyway, so I guess he won't be that good. You know what I mean? Like, how big of an impact was he going to have anyway? Okay, before I do this, let me just make sure. Yeah, no one else is actually hurt. What all does this stuff? Yeah, there's no way I can use him for a while. Wow, he has two different things that lower his melee skill by a total of 40%. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what, though? I could put him in. Because, oh no, he'll bleed. I forgot. I was going to say, he's on the back and they don't have any archers. But they have guys with throwing weapons and he'll bleed during combat. When you have a cut artery, you just keep bleeding. So I can't do that. That would just be stupid. Well... four of them. I guess I have enough targets I can start taking my choice. 33%. Alright. I mean, I, I hit them one more time than I expected to, to be fair, so I can't really complain. I think we're just going to stand our ground here. Make them come to us. Okay. It's slightly awkward having the preponderance of them all up here. Um, Alright, so I'm thinking this is... My logical move, and it worked out pretty well. I took his helmet and most of his health. And I feel like this is kind of a no-brainer. Alright, got to start on him. I think all the other guys will have stay up here. Let's see if I can get a kill. Not that way, I can't. Need to do a little bit better 
when it comes to actually hitting. Oh, I'll do this. That's fine. This is definitely one of the armors I would have liked to have gotten, so it's a little disheartening to wreck it, but... Sadly, we cannot save everyone for last. <laughs> it is very difficult to see who has what. Well, I have a far better chance of hitting this guy, but I'm pretty sure he has the better armor. Okay. Good, good. All right. Well, we've trashed his armor and we've done a little damage to him. All right. Hmm. Pretty good. Pretty good overall. I can't really complain. Um, okay. I actually didn't want to hurt this guy. Like, if we're going to wreck him, I, I definitely want to try to get his armor. So, maybe what I do is this. Okay. I'm actually just going to rest him. Hmm. He's already breaking. Man. Could you please get a hit? I mean... Okay. Well, that's a start. I mean, we need to finish some of these guys, you know? I think we started with seven. We're down to five. That's not the worst, but it's not, like, amazing either. Okay. We'll come here. Now, this guy's armor is actually still fine. His helmet got trashed, so I guess I'll do that. Like, I don't even, I can't even tell if what he has is any good, but I'll at least try to um, preserve it. Okay. All right. Now, this guy's still steady after watching the dude that was standing right next to him <laughs> drop like a sack. But, come on, one more. Beautiful. If I could just... Oh, oh, he was one that we might be able to harvest here. So again, I don't know how worthwhile it is. Maybe it's a silly waste. I don't know. But he's so close. That's my thing. It's like, well, let's at least try to get it. I don't like doing this on him when he's at steady. But I will say I've learned many a time that um, I guess I don't want to use him. That um, you take guys from steady to breaking very quickly. When is he fleeing? No, he's only breaking. When you um, start hurting them. So. Please, come on. Oh my God, man. It hurts me. It really does. <laughs> Wow. Let's get over here. I got to try and start working on this idiot. This guy's still breaking. Please. What is my chance? 54%. It just, what frustrates me is when I miss so many 54 percenters or roughly 50% in a row. Like, please, for the love of God, could I just you know, hit something. But that's RNG. And I think one of the things that makes Battle Brothers feel, you know, way more swingy, even than XCOM, is that it's very easy in XCOM. 
oh god to get your chance to hit you know way higher than 50 some percent and in this game a lot of times like if you have a 70 that's really good so there's always a pretty darn good chance of you missing okay finally Okay, good. And now he's broken. Whew. Okay, one dude left. Um, Honestly, I don't think I'm worried about this guy's armor, but I guess I'll do this. I don't expect him to last long if everybody bodies up on him. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have one. Okay. Oh, this isn't ideal. That is not ideal. Yeah, I can't do anything. All right. Oh, wow. Okay, that's like an ideal turn from, from my perspective. Yeah, I'm not fussed about that at all. We're going to close the circle around him. He has broken now, so I don't have to worry about taking damage anymore. And um, that's great. So I'll just let this guy sit. All right, we're getting there. We're doing it. And again, I have no idea if his armor is even worth fooling with, but... As long as we're in a position to take it safely, if nothing else, we can sell it for a few gold. I did not mean to do that. That's right. So it doesn't matter. Okay. Now. Thank you. So we didn't lose anybody. Um... What did I get? A 110, a 90, and another 90, and then a 95. Listen, for me, that's a huge haul. If I can get everybody on the front line to the point where we have uh, 110 or better, that would be really good. And if I can get everybody on the back to have at least 90, you know, at least when people breathe on you, all your armor isn't gone. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. I do think part of my issue right now is I probably hired at least one too many guys. So that's helping to keep my money kind of dragged down. But I don't really want to delete anybody. We did get a couple of levels here. So let's deal with that. Burn freed iron jaw. Ouch. Minus 15% experience gain. That's not terrific. Neither of these rolls, if I'm honest. Oy. You know, um, I mean, I guess I could use him as a banner man, like, kind of. He, oh, he doesn't have any stars in Resolve, never mind. And I don't have a banner yet. I know that. I know that. I was talking about grooming him over time. All right. We want this for sure. And we want that for sure. And um, yeah, we'll just kind of do the standard there. As far as this, I don't see this guy as having a lot of long-term potential, really. I think the only thing he has going for him is his health. So I guess, yeah, maybe I was kind of barking up the wrong tree. Maybe I was looking at him as more tanky. To have a starting health that high and in theory we could get his melee defense up to a decent level um so maybe what i do is i just take recover right now okay one thing i'll i also should freely admit like i don't have a lot of experience with um 
builds for specialized roles, you know, a lot of times I end up with kind of generalists. And because I've never played deep, deep into the game. Okay, you know what? I rolled a four here and his resolve sucks. So I'm going to scoop that up. So question, is he good enough that I should take student or do I look at him as a short term rental? I think more the latter. Let's just get him some health. Some extra survivability. Hello, you know, with his aim, maybe that was stupid. <laughs> Too late now. There's no respects in Battle Brothers, friend. Okay. Um, can I buy medical supplies? Are they any cheaper? I think they're slightly less after that fight. And I need some, so... It is what it is. I'm not going to buy tools for 400. I will buy berries and I'm going to leave it at that. Is there anything I can sell here? Their buying is price is quite good. I, I noticed like 15 gold for a shield is kind of the neutral point. It seems to me 19 is uh, I think as high as I've ever seen. So any of this that I would actually want to get rid of, I think I can probably afford to dump a couple of shields and maybe I don't need this anymore. I like having spares, but we don't need infinite spares. And I don't know that I need another hand axe in particular. I guess I'll keep one. I don't know. It's 129 gold. So yeah. Let's just get rid of those. I have one guy who's holding a flail, and now we have this one. The the better flail is what I mean. Let's get rid of the pitchfork. The bill hooks are much better. Let's get rid of the short sword and the militia spear. Okay, and I don't need the wooden sticks. All right, there you go. I cleaned out a little bit of space. 45 of 99 open now. I think I'm good with that. What about the... Oh, yeah. Let's sell this. All right. That helped me. That's... Listen. That makes me feel good. Um, let me leave town for just a quick second and pause it. So, what are my medical supplies? See, I still only have 25. And we're kind of beat up, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Um, I guess in terms of actual wounds, he's almost at full health. He's not. He is. So his bigger issue is that he has a fractured hand and that's going to radically hurt his accuracy. Okay. Well, maybe what I do is this. I move this guy over here. Let's go ahead and put one of the new suits of armor on him and who among my veterans has a 90 he does let's give him the good uh, the better armor okay so all I have left now are 90s and everybody on the front row has 90 or better so what if I give these two guys well actually one of them can take that so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now that I think about it, I'm being stupid. Um, why would I want 90 on the front line when I can have 95? Riddle me that. <laughs> All right. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy one more thing of medical supplies and then we're going to call it here. That's 500 gold. I'm going to try to get a better price somewhere else. All right. We're going to call it. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope we see you next time.